Your Excellency, Mr. President, dear members of the press, I'm happy to be back in Somalia six years after my first visit as Secretary General, not to mention the many visits uh, as uh, High Commissioner for Refugees during more than 10 years. And I want to thank President Hussein Sheikh Mohammed and the government for the warm welcome, welcome I enjoyed. This is, above all, a visit of solidarity. Every year, during the holy months of Ramadan, I have the honor of visiting a Muslim country. And today, I am happy to continue this tradition here in Somalia and to fast with you in solidarity. And I wish to thank everyone for allowing me to join in this special time. And I look forward to later sharing an iftar invited with, by the, His Excellency the President with a group of distinguished guests. The President and I discussed the government's valuable efforts to tackle terrorism and advance peace and security for everyone. And we underline the importance of an ever stronger collaboration between the federal government and states. Federal and state authorities can count on our support for further advanced state building. And we are particularly encouraged by the recent agreement that was established in relation to the different matters of power sharing. And I'm also here to ring the alarm on the need of massive international support. Massive international support because of the humanitarian difficulties the country is facing. Massive humanitarian support in relation to the build-up of a security capacity in Somalia. And massive humanitarian support in stabilization and development of the country. Somalia is experiencing its worst series of five years of drought in recorded history. And I hope that the rain that is coming uh, will persist and will help address the very challenging situation that was created in the country by drought. And uh, although Somalis make virtually no contribution to climate change, as a matter of fact, Somalia contributes with 0,003% to the emissions that cause climate change. Although Somalia makes virtually no contribution to climate change, the Somalis are among the greatest victims. Nearly 5 million people are experiencing high levels of acute food insecurity. And of course, Rising prices make matters worse. So I call on donors, and I call on the international community to step up their support. To urgently fund the 2023 Humanitarian Response Plan, which is currently just 15% funded. The Somali people deserve the solidarity of the international community, and deserve it to prevent malnutrition and displacement, to save lives, to avert famine, but also to be able to launch a new process of stabilization and development in the country and to build up its capacities to fight Shabab with even more efficiency than in the recent past. Dear friends, Somali embodies Ramadan's timeless message of renewal and hope. In these challenging times, I went to commend your energy and resilience and reiterate the United Nations whenevering support. We stand in solidarity with the Somali people and the Somali government for peace, for security, and for sustainable development. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Wanaksan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.